Money can be a lot of different things. What I really see it as is gunpowder for me. I'm trying to fix up a few corners of the world that I've been lucky enough to get a chance to fix up. Now you're sort of, I'd say, a financial activist. Looking into the future, Overstock.com is the first online retailer ever to accept Bitcoin as currency. And you are investing heavy in blockchain. It seems like you're going kind of all in on this thing. <laughs> I am going all in. The thing that made previous democracies fail more than any other, we haven't found a way to fix. Mm -hmm. And that is the problem of what they call special interests. Mm -hmm. What's beautiful is blockchain lets us recreate all these institutions of society, both private and government. It's everything from voting to land titling to Airbnb. Imagine if the functions that they do can be turned into smart contracts and things that can't be cheated and protected cryptographically. One product that we've developed is for central banking, one is for land titling, one is for capital markets like Wall Street that can't be cheated. So we're really applying this stuff to the leading edge. It's gonna create a world where we can all cooperate and what's so interesting is that by people taking part, they are creating the value itself that they can have a share in. We have built out this wonderful system that brings blockchain to land governance. We're doing it in Zambia. We have 60 people in Zambia now running around with iPads. They're registering their land and the government is saying, yes, we recognize title. When the state recognizes their ownership of this land, the value that gets created, that doesn't come into the world and some central institutions is so enormous. There's gonna be trillions and tens of trillions of dollars of capital created through this system. Blockchain, it's gonna really let us remind the world of the right structure. The more we can cooperate, the better for everybody. I don't know if people realize how much it's gonna end corruption. My hope is we get all these systems in there and inserted and people kind of find out a couple years down the road that oops, all those ways they had of cheating are gone. And so this is a way we can actually greatly reduce the role of middlemen. In fact, what blockchain is, is, is basically eliminate the middlemen. It's a wonderful system.